right, guys, we are here with Richard Roper. There's only one thing we can talk about today, I think, and it's Charlie Sheen. He is dominating the world. He is dominating it's the Charlie's world. planet. We're just hanging on for dear life. We are, at this we're point, hanging on. Steve. I interviewed Charlie Sheen for a movie called Navy Seals. 20 years ago, and he showed up wearing a Dick Tracy suit for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> drinking screwdrivers at 10 o'clock in the morning and going off really? on, a, on a crazy tangent. But now you have the social media component where he can communicate right. directly to us so we see the insanity unfiltered. Do you think he has any legitimate movie offers lined up? I think he probably has some offers, but I don't know right now if anybody can see him in a role and not think about all the craziness surrounding his real life. Why is he not learning from, from past mistakes? Well, I think part of the problem, he really truly is narcissistic and delusional. I mean, this guy's been doing this for most of his adult life, and, you know, he'll even say, well, I've been to the hospital. He's like, I fell asleep. Somebody took me to the hospital. So he hasn't really had, he's had a couple of scares, but not that really, truly serious brush with death that makes him wake up and say, hey, this could happen to me. I think he really thinks that there's something weak about people who have succumbed to drugs, which is actually very sad. He keeps saying this thing, winning, and there's a competition that he's in that nobody else is in with him. Can he become insurable? Can he ever become an okay risk to I take off? I think, you know, we, we saw with Robert Downey Jr. that you can become insurable and worth the risk again, but here's the big difference here. Charlie Sheen has never had the talent that Robert Downey Jr. has. Charlie Sheen's a pretty solid actor. Two and a half men is the perfect marriage of personality and acting ability and role. But when you talk about the best films that Charlie Sheen has done, we're talking about films from 20 five years ago. It's been a long time since Charlie Sheen was a bankable leading man in Hollywood, regardless of his personal problems, just as an actor. Lindsay Lohan, Mel Gibson, Charlie Sheen. Who, who has the, the highest likelihood of career survival, much less just their own physical recovery? You know, that's a great question, and I think, oddly enough, and not to excuse any of his actions, it would be Mel Gibson because he continues to have abilities as a writer, as, especially as a director and a producer. So Mel Gibson could have a career probably if he stays off screen right now, whereas with Charlie Sheen and Lindsay Lohan, it's going to take a long time. But if it comes between Charlie and Lindsay, I think even Lindsay has a better chance of resuscitating her career because she's so young and she does have a lot of talent if she can get her act together. I feel like maybe the fitting way to close this, Charlie Sheen in all of his interviews, he's been given the opportunity to talk directly to, you know, Chuck Lorre and other folks, mm -hmm. Les Moonves. Do you want to look into the camera and send any personal <laughs> message to Charlie right now? <laughs> Which camera am I looking Pick to right camera. It doesn't even uh, matter at this let, point. Let me go right here. Let me just say something. Charlie, this is your old friend Richard Roper here. I got to tell you something. They're not goddesses. You don't have tiger's blood. Gnarly isn't in vogue anymore. Take a deep breath. It'll be okay. Richard Roper, like only Richard Roper could say, thank you for the latest. Peace on out. Sheen. Peace out, man.